Hello everyone, I'm Mr Woodcock and I teach Media Studies here at CUBA at both GCSE and A-Level. The purpose of this presentation is to give you an understanding of the Media Studies GCSE course in order to help you decide if you should be considering Media Studies as one of your options. Often, people are unsure what Media Studies even involves, so they skip past it in the options booklet. But if you stop and look, I think you'll find it has something for everyone. The thing is, all of us use media products pretty much every day. Media is there every time you switch on a TV, every time you stream a movie, or read a news headline, or click on a phone app, see a YouTube clip, or play on your PlayStation. Media is all of those industries, and over the course of the GCSE and into A-Level, we cover the broadness of all the different mediums and develop a deeper understanding of how they work and the products that are made. This broad grounding of all the different types of media allows students to then go on to specialise in a particular area at university level, for example, filmmaking or screenwriting or animation which is what a lot of my students go on to do. The GCSE course itself is split into three components. Component one is an exam and involves studying a range of set texts from a wide variety of the different types of media. These include movie posters, magazine covers, newspapers, billboard advertisements, radio shows and computer games. The exam specifies which exact text we must study from these areas. So currently on our specification are texts such as James Bond, Fortnite and GQ magazine. Component 2 is our second exam and this is split into two sections. Section A focuses on sitcoms and we will study the set texts of the IT crowd and friends. And section B is all about music videos. And for this section, we look at Katy Perry's Raw, Bruno Mars's Uptown Funk, and Duran Duran's Rio. We also look at these artists' websites and consider how they promote themselves through these new technologies. For both exams and through all the set texts, we will learn to analyse the key concepts of media studies. These are uh, media language, so the visual and technical aspects of how the text is made, the representations of people or groups in the text, the audience that is aimed at, and the industry that produces the text. Through studying the text in this way, you will learn about a wide range of different mediums and develop your analytical skills. Then we move on to component three, which is where you'll be able to show your creativity. Component three is the NEA, or non-examed assessment. This is what we used to call coursework. The briefs for this change every year, but what students have had to do this year was study a film genre and then come up with their own idea for a film. They then took this idea and designed a movie poster and DVD cover for this new film as if it was actually being released. We spend a lot of time learning how to Photoshop properly and use these skills to produce media products that look like the real thing. Through doing this, you'll learn photography and design skills, which are used in the real professional industry. We follow the specification from the EDUCAS exam board, and they will assess the two exam components externally, in addition to moderating the NEA coursework component. Many students carry on with this subject into sixth form, and even then onto degree courses at university. I have a long list of ex-students who are now working in a range of different media industries, for example, one of my ex-students is working in animation now, and another one completed an internship at Disney. One acted in the Star Wars movies, which is very exciting, and another has just finished work with Christopher Nolan on his Tenant movie. That's amazing. So this really is a subject that can lead to big and wonderful careers. 
And lastly, don't forget that further details can be found in the options booklet, as well as my contact details if you require further information. So please just contact me and I'll be happy to talk through this course with you. I really hope you'll consider media studies for one of your options. Thank you and goodbye.